Hello, my children. I am here to deliver yet another faith-based message. Ye, follow me into the promised lands. Let's watch the video. Did this photo capture a miracle? The image shows a glowing silhouette hovering above a pickup truck in northern Michigan. I was just like, whoa! I thought, that's an angel! Local fire chief Glenn Thorman says his home's motion sensor security camera snapped the photo around midnight. A second image shows the angel appearing to be flying away. His wife Rhonda is taking it as a sign her home is blessed. We're just strong believers. So it was just awesome to have that, that picture come through and there's just no way that it's not an angel. So what do you see? Social media response was mixed. Definitely an angel, wrote one Facebook commenter. It looks like a moth that's close to the camera, posted another. There's a lot of naysayers that uh, make fun of it and whatever, and I ask, okay. I do truly consider it a blessing. It's definitely an angel. So you guys might notice I've done this video before. But we're going to treat it like I've never done the video before because, well, people somehow don't get it. So we're going to start clean and fresh with a new video. So I got plenty of comments from special people. And the only thing that they proved is that I can show more that this is not an angel, but yet an insect. So let's look at the original photo. So I get a lot of comments saying, bugs aren't that big. Well, problem is, is how cameras work. The closer an object or image is to a camera, the bigger it is. Oh, <gasps> no. Like, like, let's watch this video right here. Wait, the bug is just on the lens. Really? If something is closer, it's bigger? Wow. Religious people can't seem to figure that out. Okay, let's go on to a comment that I really enjoy because it really shows you didn't even look at the photo. People tell me that bugs don't hold swords. Oddly, if you look at the second photo, the sword is just floating there because, well, that's kind of the reflection from the roof. It's not a sword. Another comment that I really loved and enjoyed. Bugs don't make shadows. Well, technically they would, but the shadow that this person is talking about is just an oil stain on the parking lot. And how do I know? Because when the angel flies away, the shadow doesn't move. It literally stays in the same exact position, the same exact shape. So when you're dealing with low light photos and videos, it will actually even at times change the image of the insect. It'll take and stretch the image, it'll twist it, make it look weird. There's, there's a thing called rods, which are flying bugs, just regular flying bugs, but they look like centipedes with wings. It looks like they have like six to eight to sometimes even more wings, but that's really not the case. It's just a bug on film or on photos. So low light also changes how images look. So you guys need to do research on a topic before you attempt to talk about it. Please, what's wrong with doing research? Let's, what's wrong with finding out how things actually work before you talk about a topic? And another thing that people say is, bugs can't set off motion detectors. That's not true. All you have to do is go on YouTube and you can find hundreds, if not thousands, of videos of insects setting off motion detecting cameras. Are those all angels too? So we look at this photo right here. It's a moth trapped in a jar. And it almost is 100% identical to your so-called angel. <sighs> now I have to say this, there's a term called the God of the gaps, and that's what a lot of people do. Just because you can't explain it does not mean that automatically it's paranormal, or it's aliens, or it's God, or it's angels, okay? Do research on a topic. There's nothing wrong with doing research. Learn how things work. Learn how cameras work. 
Learn how nighttime photography works. Go out and take a camera or, or photos at night and see how things change. What's the harm in you learning something? Nothing. Exactly. Sad to say, but this part of the video is going to be a voiceover because there was a massive buzzing sound in the audio, and I don't think you wanted to listen to that through the rest of the video. So, it's going to be a voiceover. Now, let's discredit the original poster of these photos. He says his camera snapped these photos late at night with the motion sensor was turned on. That's very interesting because this camera does not take photos with motion sensor, only videos. Now, I know some of you are going to say, well, how do you know? You don't know everything about cameras. I already see that stupid comment coming. But before you're done typing out that stupid comment, let me finish. I tracked down this exact camera. I wrote the makers of this camera, which is Belkin. They told me this camera does not take photos with motion sensor, only videos. So, this guy is lying when he says his camera snapped a couple photos at night. It took a video and he manually pulled the frames out from the video to which ones look the best like an angel. So, this should have actually been enough right here to discredit him and for everyone to know it's bullshit. But no, I had to go and go back and point out everything that you guys have said to show that it's not an angel. You guys know the deal. Don't forget to like the video, share the video with your friends, and subscribe because every Thursday I post new videos I will see you guys next Thursday.